Welcome to Namaste with Lay Black Bunny Tarot. This week's reading is going to be for my Geminis. For the next seven days, May 26th through June 2nd. Now keep in mind, time is fluid. So whenever you view this video, whether three months from now, three weeks from now, this will resonate with you for the next seven days. I'm just beginning by saging the decks, removing any past energies. Beautiful. I'd like for you before we begin, just to set your intentions on the messages or any clarifications that you may wish to receive during this reading. Take in a deep inhale through your nose and feel free to sigh it out through your mouth, closing your eyes and allowing your mind to connect with your breath. shuffles are a little funky in the beginning. I always know it's going to be a good <laughs> reading. Okay. Setting my intentions for my Geminis, spirit guides, angels, please show my Geminis what it is that they need to see. seeing your energy the lovers popping up but it didn't fall out however we have quite a bit going on here so let me scoot these back create a little more space perfect all right so i will break down every card because you probably won't be able to see them all oh last one since you won't be able to see them all while they're laying out, I'm going to go ahead and just break each one down. So, Four of Cups, Eight of Wands, Knight of Wands, <laughs> Wow, Page 
of Cups. King of Wands. Let's see. The Star. Nine of Cups. The Fool. Quite a few cards came out for you. The Four of Swords. on for you, Gemini. Um, hmm. Quite a few major arcana as well as minor arcana here. We have the fool, the star, justice, and the world. So four major arcana. One, two, three cups. All right. I'm just getting a feel for what this situation is bringing for you, Gemini. When it comes to your finances here with the Four of Cups, I see balance. But I'm also getting a sense, let's dive a little bit deeper here for my Gemini into the Four of Cups. So with the Four of Cups, on the outside, everything may appear okay but dissatisfaction is creeping in for you Gemini appreciate any emotional investment in your work your projects or your relationships and rediscover that spark that you feel like is fizzling out otherwise this mild boredom could develop into serious unhappiness so I want for you to take these messages as they resonate. Not all messages will resonate with you, Gemini, so please take what does and leave the rest for someone who may need to be hearing this, for someone who may need to hear this. So I see this balance here, but maybe within this balance and finding your rhythm, you've kind of lost that momentum or that original fire that brought you into this relationship or into this contract with business um so try and find ways to rediscover that spark this is what this is telling me here then ironically we go off with the eight of wands and with the eight of wands this usually signifies letting something go in order for something new to begin and i see quite a few of that quite a few of those messages in these cards which we'll get into with this eight of wands um this is kind of an inevitable thing you may want to hold on to this but in order for you to thrive, you're going to need to let it go. Don't feel as though there's something you can do to make this work. Your happiness depends upon this, okay? Upon letting go. That seems to be the theme of, of this reading, but like I said, I'll get into that a little deeper. And then here we have the Knight of Wands, okay? So here you are letting go, and then here comes this Knight this Knight of Wands. I don't know if he's trying to come to your rescue. All right, with the Knight of Wands, this card can indicate the advent of real progress in matters of business and creative affairs. So you see here, after you're letting something go, new opportunities and progress. This can indicate fast-moving deals, long-awaited decisions, and one interpretation can literally mean to be moving houses, um, moving your residence, but it can also mean moving in work, okay, which would make sense. We have boredom to letting go to finding something new. If this is someone you know in regards to love, this is a charismatic man coming into your life. He is fast-paced, quickly moving. He knows all of the right things to say to you. And then we have this other male coming in this page of cups okay and with this page of cups this usually signifies that someone is watching you a youthful energy but they're watching you whether that be on social media um, kind of like a peeping Tom energy but 
maybe not, maybe in more of a harmless way with all the technology we have now, this person could be subscribed to your notifications and anytime you post, they're the first to like, or maybe they don't like it ever, but they're always watching. All those views you get, but only a few likes, this is that person watching you, okay, Gemini? And Gemini, you have such a beautiful energy about you, okay? You're creative, you can be guilty of overthinking, you love to talk and socialize, you can vibe with people mentally and emotionally, and you're able to switch it up from saint to sinner very easily. <laughs> In a relationship, you really thrive on that mental stimulation, someone who can teach you something new. All right, so moving on. We have the Knight of Wands to now the King of Wands. All right, let's dive into that a little bit deeper. With the King of Wands, this man here is a great communicator, passionate about people and ideas. And when I say this man, I'm saying your person, because this is your person. This is what I'm getting from the King of Wands energy here. They're a free spirit. They could be a traveler, an entrepreneur, but regardless of how you want to look at it, they live life as they choose. They may be fiery and a bit ego-driven, so be aware of that. But they do have a maturity, unlike this Page of Cups, okay? They're great communicators. Unlike the Page of Cups watching you, Gemini, we have the Knight, I'm sorry, the King of Wands, who's a great communicator and have a maturity about them, even though they thrive off of their own ego. Um, they can bring you new insight, which wins them great relationships as lovely communicators, but also many friends. He can bring protection, energy, and a determination to succeed. A determination to succeed. And once again here, right above the Eight of Wands, we have the star. This is one of my favorite cards. This divine feminine energy here, just flowing. This card often signifies not just Aquarius energy, um, this could be an Aquarius in your life, but this signifies letting go as she's dumping her cups into the stream, ready to start anew. So a few messages here about, we began with this boredom, and as this progresses, this is going to turn into a lot of letting go here. We have some love popping up as well, which is interesting, um, but also they're telling you to let go of something. So once again, please take this as this resonates, because... Once you let go, then you can start to thrive, bring your dreams and your goals to fruition, and anything you want is going to be yours. You're going to be, not to be corny, but that star you always dreamed of. And then here we are with the Nine of Cups, from the Four of Cups to the Nine of Cups. Look at this balance, Gemini. Let's dive a little bit deeper into the Nine of Cups. So with the Nine of Cups here, this shows excitement of new friends, brilliant social events, infectious good humor, and successful or new intimate relationships. Once again with the new, new relationships or partnerships, if this is in regards to business and finance. Stimulating exchange brings about excellent communication. Here we are with communication. I'm getting the sense that that's something that allowed that boredom to creep in is this lack of communication. Whether this be in a job or in your love life, Gemini, you like that mental stimulation. If they're not communicating with you, they will never last. Whether that be, like I said, business or love. So you can expect excellent communication with this Nine of Cups. Expression and creativity. This card reveals vitality, security, and quite possibly even a dream come true which makes sense once you start anew and tap into this star energy. And here's the Fool card. This card can be taken either way. In this sense, I'm getting this as, you know, just blissfully ignorant. Like, things are going so well for you after you let go that, you know, you're close to walking off of a cliff because you're just so silly and happy. I'm getting this as a good thing. You may have been taking yourself too seriously and you needed to tap into this inner child. Now that's also just a minor warning to be aware of anyone coming along with an offer. Don't 
play the fool. Um, be diligent as you always are, Gemini. Uh, check all of your boxes, double read any contracts you may be signing. But with this fool energy, it's so beautiful because you finally let go and you're allowing yourself to tap into this inner child. And then we come in with the Four of Swords. It's the only swords in the entire reading. Four of Swords. I want to dive a little bit deeper into this Four of Swords here. Can we elaborate on this Four of Swords for my Gemini? All right. <laughs> and another Wands came up. So let's first just go into this, the meaning of the Four of Swords before we go into this clarification of the Six of Wands. So with the Four of Swords... This is rest after a difficult and stressful period. This time is just to let wounds heal and to recuperate fully from an exhausting episode that has called forth all of your reserves of strength. A further meaning is it's time out from a relationship in other areas of life. A situation may be on hold. So you're putting something on hold, healing. You may be putting a pause on a relationship and the irony is when I ask for elaboration on this card, then we come into this Six of Wands. I love this card because she is having the time of her life. She almost, no, she has on a bathing suit. I was going to say naked and free. But when I see this card, I instantly think, hands up, we're about to go down on the roller coaster. Um, you're at that highest point in your emotions here so it took for you to let go to really let loose and have fun enjoying yourself after that full energy this is really beautiful you really this is a clear message for you to let go of something um, even if that be your own mind overthinking maybe this battle is is internal for you it doesn't always have to have to do with love or a job and then we come in with this justice this libra energy you're finding your balance Okay, finding balance here with this major arcana, the justice. And let me dive into that a little deeper for you. Give me just a moment. So this can come down to decisions, and rightfully so, after you may have put a relationship or uh, business on hold. So this comes down to decisions, resolution, balance, and fairness. When justice appears, a settlement is about to be negotiated. This card can be interpreted literally in terms of dealing with legal matters and on a broader life level in that it indicates the summing up of a long-standing project or situation. So after this hold, we're coming, into, we're coming to a decision. We're going to get there, Gemini. If this is what you're going through, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Agreements will be reached to your advantage provided that you have acted with due fairness in the past. So it's all about the fairness here. And then you end, which makes the most sense, with another major arcana, the world. This signifies birth, death, endings, and new beginnings. So after you go through this entire period of boredom to needing to let go, a bit of love in here mixed, okay? Um, to once again letting go, then finding that balance in creative projects, the communication that you deserve. You're going to need to tap into this childlike energy and then heal from anything you may be going through, potentially putting something on hold to then come to this decision. And once you come to this decision, if you're acting in fairness, it seems quite clear that this new beginning is just around the corner for you. So from boredom to a new beginning. Don't ignore this boredom because it seems quite clear that the spirit guides are giving you messages that in order to move forward, you're going to have to act upon something. It's okay to put it on pause and come back to it, but this is something you're going to have to deal with, Gemini. I really hope that you enjoyed this reading today. Um, please subscribe or like this video, share, or drop a comment below just to let me know if this resonated with you, Gemini.